One third of all retail CEOs fear that their company will go out of business in the next 36 months. We're seeing an unprecedented number of store closings. So in many ways, we find many retailers at a precipice. It's not that physical retail is dead, it's that boring retail is dead. So we have to make a choice. Are we gonna hope that we can out Amazon Amazon? Are we gonna hope that we can keep cutting prices? What I suggest is that there is only one choice, and that is to choose to be remarkable. So I've developed a framework to help retailers on this journey, this journey to remarkable, which I call the eight essentials of remarkable retail. Harmonize is really what I think is an upgraded term for omni-channel. It's this idea of eliminating the discordant notes in the customer's journey so that everything you do for the customer sings beautifully together. One of the unique things about these digitally native vertical brands, you know, they've embraced this blur that is shopping in a way that's really powerful. Many of them started on the web and then they went into physical retail. And when they did that, they didn't get caught up in the silos. They understood it was all one customer experience, that some customers are gonna choose to transact in the store or they're gonna choose to transact online. And the key is to embrace that blur and to bring it all together and make it work in a beautiful, harmonized fashion. have to act and a big part of acting is to be willing to take risk and is to be willing to cross that line into what is sometimes a scary world but the fundamental thing really is about adopting a culture of experimentation and testing and learning does anybody know which store this is okay truth is i have absolutely no idea what store this is If failure is not an option, then neither is success. And so many retailers are just so afraid of failure that they don't do anything. It is possible for old retailers to learn new tricks. We're starting to see brands like Walmart and Target reignite their growth by applying some of these principles. But when you see your store as an asset, you invest behind it. But more importantly, you start to see the role of the store in concert with the role of digital and how you can bring it all together, creating growth.